In this video about survival analysis with Jazz, I show you how to run a COX regression, that is a proportional hazards model. You need for this at least Jazz version 0.19.2. Here we have an example data set of lung cancer patients, the survival time in days, the status, dead 1, censored 0, and we would like to test the influence of three variables on the survival, the age of the patient, their sex, one male, two female, and the weight loss in the last six months. To run the Cox regression, we go to survival and semi-parametric, time to event at the top, event status. Here you could change the event indicator. In this example, correctly, one stands for the event, that is for the death of the patient. Continuous variables go into the field covariates and factor variables, as in this case sex, into the field factor. Here we have our results. We can see that the model with the three covariates is only marginal better than the null model, with an AIC slightly better, but a BIC that is slightly worse than the null model. Here are the coefficients from the Cox regression, the estimates, the standard errors, the confidence intervals, test statistic and p-value, and we can see that from the three predictors only sex has a significant effect on survival time. Here for sex equals two, that is women, we see a negative estimate. A negative estimate implies a longer survival time, that is, a reduced risk of dying. We can see this in the hazard ratios estimate table. For sex, we have a hazard ratio that's below one, so the hazard for the women is smaller than for the men. There are a lot of additional choices you can make in JASP with this model. I think the most important ones requesting a plot of the survival probabilities and checking assumptions. We can do that under diagnostics. I think the most important assumption is the proportional hazards assumption. For that we can request a table of tests and a plot. Here we see significance tests for the proportional hazards assumption, that this is constant. The test results are not significant, that's good, because the null hypothesis is that the assumption is met and a significant result would indicate a violation of the assumptions. And we could look at the plots. What we don't want to see here is a systematic trend in the betas over time. But here it's not systematic, here neither, and here neither. So the plots look fine. There are additional residual plots you could request. For instance, for linearity, one often takes martingale for the different predictors. Here I don't see any indications of a nonlinear trend. It's only relevant for the continuous predictors. For binary con predictor, linearity can't be a problem. And for outliers, we could look at the deviance residuals. Ideally, this should be symmetric around zero, but at least we don't see any extreme cases at the tails of the distribution. So that's it for a short overview about Cox regression with JASP. If you're interested in a basic survival analysis, with the Kaplan-Meier estimator with JASP, then this separate video could be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.